from high atop Acadia National Park. You know, and I came from a good home. Where the sea meets the mountains. I think that the people in the town certainly realize it. I doubt if most of the tourists realize it. You wouldn't know below in one of Maine's most desirable communities. The drug epidemic claimed at least three lives last year. I mean, this is a nice community. Dr. Mark Kandach practices primary care in Bar Harbor. It uh, will kill a lot of people, completely aside from the whole issue of addiction. Um, and um, that includes my own son. He was fairly mature, highly intelligent kid. Um, so how come he's so stupid about this one thing? And we didn't really. 32 year old Joshua Kane understands how a teenager can make that choice. You're young, you're invincible. He was addicted to pills. My thing was I was only going to use for today, but it was funny because I always bought enough for two days. It started in high school, and then Kane was out on the water. So I started fishing because that was the type of work where you, because you know, as long as you do a man's work, what you do in your off time is your business. That time off included buying pills for as much as a hundred bucks a pop. Pills flowing up Route One and right into Hancock County. I think with the money that we make, it gives us more access to it. According to a 2014 CDC report, Maine ranked first in the nation for long-term opioid prescriptions per capita, with 58 pills prescribed per person here in Hancock County. Finding drugs was easy. Finding help wasn't. Is there a lot of help? Uh, no. There's this sense of an idyllic uh, respite, you know, Acadia National Park, the beautiful sea coast here on the coast of Maine, and it's really, um, in some ways, that belies the underlying problems. Dan Johnson is executive director at the Acadia Family Center in Southwest Harbor, the island's only licensed substance use agency. We get good results if we can get people to uh, take that first step. Kane's first step happening when he was 23. I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. But it's not uncommon for those looking for help, many who are fishermen, to go on a wait list. There's a lot of fishermen that don't use. But there's a lot of uh, fishermen who are struggling. They just turn around. Addiction and, and drugs don't, don't discriminate by social class. James Willis is the police chief for both Bar Harbor and neighboring Mount Desert. So I, God, I really hope it isn't the new normal. Driving around town, you don't see evidence of the problem, but he says his officers are seeing an increased use in drugs. What's even more dangerous? What we hear about it, um, is that it's, it's thought to be heroin being mailed, and perhaps it's already been caught. I was an exception back then to be that young and be using. Kane, now almost a decade into his recovery, hopes telling his success story can save more lives. You know, you have to do it yourself, but you can't do it alone. Lives like the one Dr. Kandach can never get back. There wasn't any warning that it was going to happen. Between 2012 and 2014, Hancock County ranked among the top counties for the number of drug arrests for pharmaceutical narcotics. The issue now, many Mainers hooked on those drugs are turning to heroin. It's cheaper and it's gambling with their lives. I'm David Charns, WMTW News 8. And right now,